Hey guys, welcome back to Man Time. Today, I am going to go ahead and make a new EDC everyday carry hatchet. Um, the, when I was at my neighbor's house cutting up that tree in his front yard, one thing I was really disappointed in was the wedge driving ability of this little craftsman hatchet. And I had planned ahead and bought another hatchet head. And this one here is marked with an M. I believe the M is for Stanley. This was uh, one of the earlier Stanley markings. So, um, one thing I, I didn't like about it was actually the way that it was that it was curved. It's nice when you're using it as a hatchet, but when you flip it over to use it to drive a wedge, something about it just just wasn't right the way it's kind of pushing back here it almost made it feel like it was coming back at me um, I, I just wasn't happy with it so I've got this new uh, new axe head it fits really nice and snug in the existing scabbard that I have so I'm gonna try to turn this into an axe that can be used as well uh, as something to drive in my wedges with and for the handle I am going to make it more like a hammer handle with a with a nice swell on the bottom of it but more just a straight shaft on it so I can use it ambidextrously front uh, front for the axe side or back for the wedge driving side of it there and it's also a little bit bigger it's got a little bit more weight to it so it should be a, a really nice, really nice addition to the uh, the woods cutting kit uh, that I've got going on here. So stick around. I'm gonna I'm gonna start by um, drilling out and and getting that old amount of wood over there uh, out of there. Excuse me. Uh, in addition to that, I'm gonna I'm gonna take the edge geometry down just a little bit. It's got a nice sharp edge on it, but it's just the very the very edge of it here which has been sharpened and it hasn't been taken back any so yeah I'm gonna sharpen it up and I'm gonna make a new handle from scratch for it so stick around if you're interested in uh, in building your perfect EDCX to carry around while you're running your running your chainsaw hopefully I can do that hopefully I can show you how stick around Okay, so first things first, we want to get all of our tools out and at the point of use here. You can see I've got my woodworking tools uh, over here. I've got a smaller draw knife. This one's made in the USA. Looks like maybe a Jennings. Got that one really nice and sharp. I got this one. This is a Pexto. And this was in almost like new condition when I, when I got it. Very little sharpening or, or anything that I really needed to do to it. So got really lucky on that one estate sale. Um, I think it was like 15 bucks or something. Saw. Of course our new Stanley axe head we're going to be reusing. <coughs> I've got some uh, some wood here and actually this is part of a wheelbarrow handle. I don't know if it's going to be quite big enough. I was going to have my palm swell down here toward the fat end of it and then where it goes into the axe up here I just don't know I don't know if it's going to be quite um, wide enough so we'll, we'll try it out anyway if I need to start over I'll start over but uh, we'll start with that
I think we have it. I think we have a axe that's going to serve as a, a good um, a good hatchet type axe that I can carry when I'm out felling trees and, uh, and a good axe that's going to drive wedges and a good axe that's also going to act as a hatchet um, a, a kind of hat, uh, camp hatchet. I like I like how it turned out. I really do. The, uh, the 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 size of it is is just really nice with the middle finger able to touch um, I can choke up on it and there's another swell in this area here where I can grip and really get a good handhold right here in the middle that feels like it's more apt to to starting the wedges um, I didn't have a pattern or anything when I went into this. I just kind of went with what was looking right and what was feeling right. Um, feeling as I went and, and that sort of thing. I kind of got a little weird thing going on up here by the axe head. But uh, all in all, it turned out pretty good. I mean, it'll tell, you know, through trials in the woods and, and that sort of thing how good it's going to hold up. I don't know what kind of wood it is. Um, just bought some... Uh, replacement they were replacement wheelbarrow handles at the store uh, I, I've, I've been looking for a, a nice slab of hickory that I could work with to do things like this with but I just haven't found one I guess you can probably order them special order them from you know Lowe's or Home Depot or whatever but uh, yeah I, I'm really pleased with this one uh, nice taper all the way down to the to the handle here where it where it has a really nice swell on it um, the uh, profile from the side there I I just couldn't be happier with it it feels really good and it didn't take you know forever to do I just used my draw knife well both draw knives that I had showed you there and I think it's gonna I think it's gonna work really well for me it's got a really nice sharp edge on it. I'm just going to leave it like that. Start using it. Alright. Well that's it for man time today guys. Let's go out there and have you some man time too. Why don't you make a hatchet handle. And a really nice camp hatchet. Thanks for joining me.